enjoy my time in Brand First Team Captain alongside Darren, the manager, of course. And Darren, to start with you, great result today. Yeah, good result. Um, obviously, you know, you're disappointed not to get three, but a hard fought game and, uh, and a team that, uh, you know, now they've got all the squad back fit. We'll, we'll definitely push it into the top four, I'm sure of it. You know, very, very strong. We had to be resolute at times and defend very well. And, you know, him next to me, he's, he was key to that today. And, and we, were, we were, you know, very strong towards the end of the game physically in defence. And I think possibly going forward, the, the defensive boys will be disappointed with some of our play because we were a little bit sloppy in the attacking third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simon, uh, those long throw-ins were obviously a difficult tactic to defend. What was that like? Yeah, we, well, we knew before the game, obviously, they're um, a different kind of opposition of what we've come up against already. Um, they were strong, physical, and very direct. Um, so we knew what we had to deal with, and it was just a matter of doing, going about our jobs right today and, and trying to combat whatever they threw at us. Yes. We took the lead just after the hour, and we looked comfortable for a spell, and their goal almost came against the run of play. Yeah, they started the second half very bright, actually, and and, and came out quite, quite strong, and and then the goal possibly was against the run of play on the other side of it and then I thought then we might go and get another one because we, we were really dominant for, for kind of five, ten minutes after but you know as you say the, 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 their goal is a, one that comes off the bar and he's got a, a, a typical poacher's goal as Glover and he, he, he's in the, you know, up in the scoring charts at the moment and he's probably the strongest I've seen him physically now for a couple of seasons he's really fit and he, he ran channels well so you know I think mo both managers are possibly looking at it and saying a point was maybe a fair result. Um, yeah, they're, they're up there as a, as a physical test from what we face so far, definitely. But um, like I said, the, the run we're on at the minute, um, it just shows the standards we set when the lads are disappointed coming in that we've not picked up three points and it's a draw. So, like I said, it, it is a good point. So we shouldn't be disappointed and we take that on and build on it at Staley Bridge at weekend. No, I, I thought, although they were probably the best side we played, I thought that was probably our best away performance well again I think it, someone commented in the dressing room afterwards that maybe a month ago we might have lost that game because um, we, we wouldn't have stood up and defended and been as strong as we was when they were throwing everything at us at the end so yeah on, on that point of view to come away with a point it probably was a good point at the end of the day you yourself have been playing with no, a no, no, ankle knock no, no, how's that been going on there yeah, it's fine. Like I've trained during the week, it's not a problem, and um, I didn't feel it today, so it was fine. And you're on four bookings. Is that as a player at the back of your mind, or does it feature? It wasn't, <laughs> but but today it was because we've got a big game in a couple of weeks away at Geisley, and um, that's one I didn't want to miss. So yeah, it kind of played on my mind today, but you can't let it affect your game really. You just got to get on with it, and if a booking comes, it comes. Darren, now we, we move forward to Tuesday night and uh, the Lancashire Cup. Um, how are you going to approach that one? Have you got a few knocks or uh, is the full squad available? Well, they all report in. Uh, before lunchtime tomorrow on Sundays or the day after the game uh, and then what will mean Alex and, uh, and the physio department will then decide who, who we can risk and maybe who we can't you know like you say Simon's uh, bookings may, may come into that thought process and we've also got three or four who, who could do with 90 minutes under the belt so a juggling act at the same time we, we need to respect the competition and uh, and respect the opposition so as I say it, it'll be a case of seeing firstly who's available with regards to knocks and minor issues that we don't want to come and play against Staley Bridge the, the next Saturday but at the same time make sure that we, we take care of those and, uh, and we give the people that need it the correct minutes under their belt as well. Because Paddy Lacey of course got his fifth goal into game today so he misses that game at Geisley so that will obviously come into your thought process on Tuesday night. Yeah we need to get you know Jay Crowther some minutes again and, and keep him ticking over we need to get you know Niall some minutes under his belt and then you know the two of them it, it's up to them to, to stake that sort of that shirt for, for the guys the game so a lot of permutations to look at at the moment and Anthony Wilson of course has come on a sub a couple of times is he likely to get more of a game on Tuesday to get some decent game yeah he's another one who, who, who needs to try and get as close to 90 there as he can and uh, and keep that sharpness improving and then you know hopefully we'll go into Christmas with with, with everybody you know firing on all cylinders where you want to be with with the, the runner games that are coming up Tuesday night obviously you know, they're one of the full team, uh, full time teams in this league, and uh, and that that whether that inhibits the 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 recruitment side of it, but the 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 generally very young side who are very physically fit and and they'll they'll pass the ball a lot. So 
total different at the end of the spectrum to today's game. We're a big physical, strong side. What we'll come up against is, you know, slightly younger, more energetic, get the ball down, try and move it wide and, and, and play some football. So, you know, we, we, the whole league is 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 it is it a what shall we say a, 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 a performance platform where anybody can take points off each other. So, with regards to our work rate and our mentality, that can't change because we're coming up against a team in the bottom three. We've got to make sure that that is right as as, as at the point of it was today, which is give nothing away, make sure we're nice and solid, and then hope that when we get out, create our chances and get in good areas, we take it. Simon, uh, you won the league before. Setting personal standards, I this is where all players want to be. You know what I mean. The whole squad. This is the whole reason we're at the club and and where we're pushing to go. So um, as the moment of where we are now at the moment, um, yeah, exactly the, the the run we're on and the form we're showing, we deserve to be there. So um, like I said, there's no reason now why we can't kick on and keep pushing and um, leave it in our hands, if you know what I mean, and and don't let anyone else, let other teams worry about us for a change rather than us trying to chase them. Can you get to the 31st of December without your fifth book? <laughs> it's a long time, so <laughs> we'll see. But um, standard of referee, and I'll blame that, I think. So, um, But no, again, you never know. I um, don't think I picked up that many bookings last year, so you could easily go run a games without a booking. It all just depends. Thanks very much. Thanks for us. Cheers. All right.